what is the people so i've said so in the, in some videos in the main channel that the problem we have is uh, people only get any sort of exposure to science in their uh, schools and uh, because of that they're not able to see the intrinsic value of science they see that science is something if you score well and then you can get into really good colleges really good jobs but there's intrinsic value in science and people can only get that people can only gauge that if they get some avenue for exposure to science outside their schools schools academics should not be the only place where there's any science with that said i'm actually going to go to one such avenue today i'm going to do my first ever vlog oh this is the second vlog actually second vlog on this channel i'm going to go today to a uh, astronomy workshop a stargazing and sky watching astronomy workshop i'm going to uh, have some fun with some telescopes there's a meet up that i found out about so let's go to that i will try to vlog along the way but come along with me okay uh so it's the morning and uh, i was hoping to film something last evening uh, like when we were observing but sadly i couldn't film anything it was so dark like uh, they turned off all the lights so we could observe the uh, sky and uh, uh, in fact uh, I, you i'll put over here i uh, i tried to take a video of uh, what is on the telescope and you can see me desperately trying to capture saturn uh, in on the telescope but i couldn't now it's morning and we had some uh, observation in the morning sky watching in the morning and uh, we saw and i'll tell you what all we saw we observed uh, a lot of uh, constellations that are in the sky at this time of year we saw all the planets we saw jupiter saturn venus uh, i think mars is on the other side or in uh, it's in the daytime sky but we uh, we saw lots of uh, uh lots of night sky objects uh, we saw andromeda galaxy we saw uh, uh <clears throat> what else uh orion nebula there was a meteor shower also we saw that too uh but basically it was really fun um and i'll show you the telescope okay so uh this is the telescope see that it's a huge telescope uh how, what is the aperture this is a 16 inches 16 inches reflecting telescope so yeah last night we were looking at the sky uh using this and uh, yeah This here is Anish he's the one who runs the astronomy workshop more details about which will come later in the video yeah so basically this telescope has got a uh, mirror at the uh, bottom it's behind this here so so the mirror is gathering all the light from whatever you point uh, you know the telescope to Mm-hmm. and uh, i'm covering it i thought because you know it's sun mm-hmm. and if sunlight falls on it will be in trouble mm-hmm. so the the and because the mirror is parabolic mm-hmm. it uh, all the light that falls on it converges at a particular point mm-hmm. and that particular point is somewhere here okay it's around uh, uh, you know 1.8 meters from from the telescope mm-hmm. till here mm-hmm. but because it's here mm-hmm. you want to see traditionally like when they invented this you had to put an eyepiece instead of mm. putting it there you had to put the eyepiece here mm. and you were looking okay. like this into the image that was formed here mm. but because you do that you're blocking the light from mm. the object that you're pointing to right. and if the telescope is sufficiently big then it's okay, uh, it's okay to you know lose your head size uh, you know circumference of light mm. however because this telescope particularly if i put my head it's going to block 50% of it 
So Newton had this design change where he put a flat mirror, mm. and the flat mirror now uh, reflects that light that's mm. coming back mm. uh, about ninety degrees, and it goes out of that tube there. Mm. And you put an eyepiece at the end of that tube, and it's more convenient to look at it from the side. Mm. So right now the eyepiece is not in, but basically you put the eyepiece here, and you look through it that way. So this mirror reflects everything coming from that mirror. Yeah. This is a flat and mirror, and it comes out through this. It comes out through this. So basically, now uh, you are. Uh, it's more convenient, I would say. Mm. You are not blocking most of that light, mm -hmm. uh, you know, which you would have normally done. So we are currently in a, a farmhouse. That's a turkey. I do. I did not expect to see a turkey. Uh, and we also have some ducks and ducks and stuff. What else? Oh, there's a black turkey. Can you see that? Nice. I didn't even know they farmed turkeys down here, but. Uh, down here in India. Oh, there are quails. Can you see that? Okay, I'll take you closer. Are these quails or some other bird? Yeah, well, not sure. So, uh, this event, uh, like I was saying, it's being conducted in this farmhouse. Uh, farm of the co uh, of. Uh, a little bit of Koso, uh, like you have to come to, so if you live in Bangalore, come to Hosur and uh, in fact, I'll put the instructions uh, along with the video, uh, but it's being conducted by this uh, team called Risa Astronomy. I'll link their uh, Instagram also down below. Uh, just... Uh, you can register through them. They conduct this once every two weeks, I believe. And you can come join, uh, come along next time. So, yeah, it's a really fun thing. Oh, it's a refractor actually, it's not a lens here. And you look through the other end. Okay. But the thing with this particular telescope is if you point a refractor to the sky, to the sun, and if you are able to focus all the sunlight into your eyes, nice you, you just need a couple of seconds and it will burn a hole in your retina. The good part is that your retina cannot sense pain. So while literally it is up in smoke, you do not feel much pain. So that's a good part. <coughs> Uh, the other good part is you have got two eyes, so you can do it twice. <laughs> so, but I recommend not doing it. But normally people don't take recommendations very seriously. So don't do not point a telescope at the, or a binocular at the sun. So even if it is setting sun, don't do it. So how are we pointing this is because it's got a something like an energy rejection. You know, all of the heat that is coming in, it will reject 95% of it. Okay, so people uh, go follow Risa Astronomy on Instagram, uh, check out their page. If you live in Bangalore, they will make an announcement like this every two weeks or something. That's how often they hold the workshops, depending on when Anish is free. And you can just go over there and, uh, you know, have fun. Check out the Amateur Astronomy Workshop, have fun. And let me know, let me know what your experience was like. That's it from me, I guess. I'll see you in the next one.